Hi, my name is Jessica and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be of my beauty room slash makeup collection. I have to put a disclaimer out there. I do have a lot of makeup that one person could have as an average person, but makeup is my hobby. As if collecting shoes or buttons or stamps or um, historical pieces those are your hobbies. Makeup is mine. This is going to be part one of two parts of my makeup room tour. This video will contain my makeup collection. And then part two, if you guys want, will contain my lipstick collection, which is my pride and joy. So if you want to see my beauty room tour and makeup collection, keep watching this like video. Like it says in the title in the intro, this is a makeup collection video. So I can do a full beauty room tour if you guys would want, just leave the comments down below. But for right now on this video, I am just gonna focus on my makeup. My chair, it's a little dirty, you know, it's a makeup chair. I actually got this chair at Ross. Love the gray, the gray look. And I love the detail on the back of this chair. Like it's so, mm, it's so nice. So I got this at Ross. I like that it moves. It can go up and down like a normal computer chair. Um, so that's my chair. My desk I got at Walmart. I don't believe how much I paid for it. And if I can find a link to it, I'll link it down below as well. Um, and then it came with the baskets, but you can interchange the baskets. You can mix them around, but I just like the color scheme of the pink, black, and gray. My drawers for my makeup, my drawers. <laughs> My drawers for my makeup are from Ikea. My mirror, I, honestly, I don't know where I got my mirror from. I'm pretty sure I got this from Walmart or maybe Target. I don't know. My mom got it for me for Christmas years ago. It's just a three-sided um, mirror and the lights up, you know, typical mirror that you can get at Ross or Walmart or any type of store like that. The containers that I have here are random containers that I got from random places. Like, <laughs> honestly, I got them from Ross or I got them from a place at the time. It was called Rugged Warehouse, which is kind of like a Ross, but a lot cheaper where I'm from. Or I got them from Amazon or I got them from TJ Maxx or Marshalls or I got them from random places that I've been to and I just picked them up. So I don't know exactly where I got the containers but I do know it's one of those places. I'm sorry. The pictures I got from Ross. I got that from Ross. This one says Everyday Sparkling. And then that one says she believed she could, so she did. This picture is gorgeous. I loved the colors and I thought it looked well with the flowers that I made down at the bottom. These flowers are fake, Avi. I got these from the dollar store along with the vase and I just put them together and I did this like years ago when I first started makeup. Right here in this container, I literally just threw my earrings in here because I had nowhere else to put them so that's what I did with this. Same down here, I have my necklaces and bracelets that I just threw. I know they're not makeup related but that's just where I threw it. I have my dirty kabuki brush from e.l.f. that I absolutely love <laughs> on here that I use every day and then I have this... Coco Cabana cream that I got in my BoxyCharm that I use every day as well, and I put it, I keep it up here. We have some Milani in here, some ColourPop, some random ones that I got in BoxyCharm. Um, I have a couple of brow products in here. This is my brow gels. These are my brow pencils that I use. And then in here, I have the rest of my eyeliners. Um, There's no rhyme or rhythm to this display right here or organization to it, but that's just... It works for me. <laughs> On my desk here, I just have my makeup wipes when I need them. I have my dirty brushes. Don't judge me, I have to clean my brushes. Girl knows. And my fans back here to dry my face off when I use my setting spray. And then I have some scrunchies as well. Moving along on the desk, I have more brushes that need cleaned. Thank you. 
I have my mirror, and then I have this compartment. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I will say my favorite ones are the MAC Fix Plus. I have several of them. And then the Urban Decay All Nighter is my favorite, as well as a uh, Milani Make It Last. It's definitely my favorite, so that's why I have two of them. In this drawer, I just have small palettes. I got this palette at Ross. It's the MAC uh, Aaliyah Collection. Here are the colors from that palette. It's a beautiful palette. I think I used it once. I mainly got it for collectors. I have the Dose of Color um, palette with Desi X Katie. I have the Maybelline X Sheila palette. I have the Wet n Wild X um, Bretman Rock palette. I have the Wet n Wild palettes. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember these? I have the Sparkling or Sparkle Till Morning Petal Pusher and Blue Had Me at Hello. Do you guys remember these? Oh my gosh, I loved these palettes, especially this one. And then I have a um, quad Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadow that I made in here. And this one, I have more smaller palettes that I couldn't fit in my drawer, so I keep them in here. And then my bottom one, I just have are all my lashes. Okay, starting to the left of my desk. In the first drawer, I have all of my single eyeshadows. I have all of my, like, uh, crayon type of pencil eyeshadows like the ones from NYX and I have some unknown brand as well I have all my elf single like eyeshadow long wearing eyeshadows I have some NYX and Milani and some Mac single eyeshadows in this one I have all my color pop and then I have these two that I got it's by Ace Butte that I got in my BoxyCharm they kind of remind me of the color pop not just with the packaging, but the texture as well. And here I have some L'Oreal. I just have like random eyeshadows in here. And then these right here are my first ever eyeshadow palettes that I got from Victoria's Secret. I would never wear these colors. Here is the other one. Again, we'll never use them, but they're so sentimental. I don't want to get rid of them. And the next drawer here, here's a better overview of them. Without going through all of them, I have some ColourPop. I have the Makeup Shayla and ColourPop Caution, Pursuit Caution palette. I have the Tarte um, palettes in the back. I have some Tartes here as well. Um, I have the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, terrible. I have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Vault palette. I have some more ColourPop. I have some Morphe, some Dose of Colors. Next drawer is bigger palettes um it's just a variety i have the dominique cosmetics berry palette the colored rain um queen of hearts palette i have our celestial palette as well celestial storm i have the urban decay born this way this is one of my favorite freaking palettes look how gorgeous this palette is like it's a great everyday palette. Oh my God, I love this palette. So this palette is supposed to be a mockery of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, so I have that. I have more Urban Decay. I have the Modern Renaissance Beverly Hills. I have the Miss Jackie Ina palette. Love, love, love this palette. My favorite color is sponsored. Bitch, what? Back here, I have my own eyeshadow palettes I made with some ColourPop colors with a little bit of Morphe, I believe. Um, I have, oh my god, this palette's awesome. The Born This Way Holly Boone palette. Beautiful. The collab from ColourPop with um, Kathleen Lights and this one. Um, my Too Faced palette, which, side note, little story. This was my first ever high-end palette that I purchased. I don't like this palette, to be honest, but I keep it because it's my first ever high-end palette that I ever purchased. Um, I have the Sarah, I love Sarah He, uh, ColourPop palette. I have the Shayla Perception palette with ColourPop. Oh my God, this palette is gorgeous. Beautiful and Barcelona palette, like look at this. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful palette. Such a beautiful palette. And I also have some tarts back here, palettes. And yeah, so that's everything in this drawer. So in this drawer, I have my other palettes. I have the Juvia's Place palettes. I have Per palette that I got for my BoxyCharm. 
I have the Pixie palette from It's Judy's Time collab. Um, I have another palette from Pretty Vulgar that I got in my box of charm as well. For this palette, as controversial as she is, this palette was pretty damn good though. Some BH Cosmetics shadow palettes. I have the Emily uh, Makeup Revolution collab, Emily Noel. She was one of the first gurus too that I started watching. I have the BH Cosmetic and Sylvia collab, Sylvia Ghani. And that's what her palette looks like. I have some Morphe palettes back here. Um, and that's everything in this drawer. So in here, I have the Carly Bible palettes um, with BH Cosmetics. I have the Shein XO palette with BH Cosmetics. And I have the Melissa Michelle palette with um, Ulta. Okay, moving over here to the right side of the drawer is my face products. We have all my concealers, all my primers. I'm just going to do an overview. My favorite concealer, I will say, is the Born This Way concealers. These concealers are bomb. I like the NARS concealers. I actually like the BH Cosmetics Pro Concealer. And here I just have the um, color corrector concealers type. I have more lighter shades of concealers. And then in here I just have my primers. My favorite primer is the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. It's like the best primer ever. These here are just extra buys because I like to stock up. I like to stock up. I hate running out, especially on my favorite stuff. So, so this is my commonly used mascaras in this one. And I'm just going to give you an overview of what I have. Better Than Sex Mascara. I have the Hourglass Caution Mascara. The Steeler Huge Lash Mascara. This is like one of my favorites. My other favorites, the It Cosmetics Superhero. I just got the Hank and Henry Mascara from BoxyCharm. The NARS um, concealer, the Climax concealer. This one's not a bad concealer. Am I saying concealer? Oh my god, duh. Mascara, my bad. I have some extra mascaras, drugstore mascaras that I have not opened yet that I need to. I have even more mascaras in here. I told you I have a lot of makeup, please don't judge. I have my glitter shadows. I have some Milani ones. I have the Stila, which are my faves. These are my faves. And in here, I have more liquid eyeshadows. I have the color tattoos from Maybelline. I have some Revlon dual ended ones. And I think that's it. In this drawer, I have my foundation. So, this is my face powders if I want to go for a natural look. And then I have some brightening powders as well. And here, these are my loose powders. My favorite right now is the Fenty, and I'm in Cashew. Love this for under my eyes. Want to go for a drugstore route? The Maybelline Fit Me ones are awesome. They're actually better than the Fenty, I'm not going to lie. So I have two of the medium deep ones because this is the one I use for um, baking under my eyes. I have a deep one and then I have a light one because I just, I love these. The Becca Hydrating Mist powder is beautiful. This is such a good powder as well. I have a Kat Von D powder. I have this Tati Made Me Buy It powder <laughs> uh, and then I have my liquid foundations in the back just to do an overview um, of the foundations these are my most used ones in the front the Marc Jacobs um, palette I got in a influencer box to be honest and then I have some Milani um, foundations as well I have the new covergirl healthy elixirs that one was too dark so I have to mix them my favorite stick foundation is the Makeup Revolution, and these are the two colors I use. And then I have the Revlon Candid foundation that I just bought. Um, I love it. So far, I've used it twice. Not mad at it. I have the BB. I have the BB cream from Black Radiance and Honey Amber. These are my favorite. You can get them for six, five or six dollars at Walmart. And they are full coverage like a regular foundation. I highly, highly recommend it if you're roughly in my skin tone to get these. They're really good. I have the Mary Kay CC Cream. I have the It's Cometic CC Cream. And yeah, that's everything I have in here. And this one is my highlights and my bronzers and contour. I have some palettes here. I have the Cover, X Cover FX palette. Um, I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, 
That one's from Black Radiance. I have this one. This one's my favorite. This is the Ulta Contour Kit. I love it with these two colors. Actually, these three colors. I use them a lot for contouring. And I have a cream Anastasia and Beverly Hills palette. Over here, I have some highlighting palettes. I have Makeup Revolution. I have the Anastasia and Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero. I didn't realize, even though they showed pictures, it's kind of a dupe of the Nicole Guerrero. Uh, <laughs> Let me put them side by side. Here's what they look like side by side. They're not like legit matchy matchy, but if you rearrange them, they could possibly be a dupe. So this one's the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, and this one's the Rosé one. Back there, I have some darker foundation shades because I noticed that they work just as well as contour or even bronzers. And then in these two, I have highlights. I have the Champagne Pop because, again, I'm a supporter. I actually don't like it on my skin. Uh, just saying. I have the Colored Rain highlight. I have some Maybelline um I have Maybelline highlight. I have some Milani highlights as well. And then here I have a Galactic highlight. I have the Fenty dual highlights. I have some Wet n Wild. I have ColourPop highlights. I have the um, Artist Couture highlight, which I got this in my boxy charm, and I was so excited for this powder. So excited. It's nice. I have the Desi X Ketty highlights. I have both of them. And that is my highlighter in my bronzer drawer. And last but not least is my blush drawer. In the front, I have some Jordana blushes and I have some Milani blushes. I just have the regular baked blushes that they have. And then I have the flower blushes. And here I have Wet n Wild and some e.l.f. blushes. I have some Makeup Revolution. Uh, some MAC blushes as well. And then in that one, sorry. And this one, I have some Maybelline, some Mary Kay, Avon, some BH Cosmetics, and Tarte blush palette. I actually really like this palette. It's like a blush book palette. I really like it. It can go with any skin tone, and it has like a highlighting shade as well. Oh my god, my hand got stuck. Did you guys see that? <laughs> In the front, I have some palettes. I have two BH Cosmetic face and blush palettes. I have this Purr palette, 4-in-1 um, blush palette that I got from Amanda Insing. I freaking love her. I have another BH Cosmetic palette. I have the Makeup Revolution blush palette. I have this palette that I got from my BoxyCharm. This one is actually a really good palette. It is extremely pigmented. Oh my gosh. It is extremely pigmented. This palette is gorgeous. Especially if you have deeper skin tone, medium deep skin tone, it is gorgeous. And I have the Born to be Different Holly Boone powder and finishing touches. And that is that drawer. So that was part one of my makeup collection. I will do part two if you guys leave comments down below and let me know of my lipstick collection. I didn't want to do the whole video of my beauty room because then it would have been 30 to 40 minutes long. It is already a good 20 minutes and I thought that was enough. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.